Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over uh, body armor, carriers, pouches, hopefully everything associated with that. Um, this is my current patrol vest. It is a Protec or Fast Attack vest. Um, it's a Sapphire Land company. I do have a Sapphire Land soft armor in there. Um, if you are interested in the differences of the soft armor, I believe this is the mid grade. It's uh, their Summit or whatever they changed the name to now. It's pretty thin. It's bendable for what it is, so it's pretty comfortable. Um, venting wise, the the fast attack vest doesn't do so much. It's just flat against you, um, but it's not too bad during the summer. Uh, we uh, besides that, I also have. Angle Armor hard plate in there. Um, it's rifle rated. It's pretty light. It's about a pound or a pound and a half. Uh, I really don't notice it and it's kind of nice the space that it takes up. But I'm pretty happy with that. Other than that, uh, we have our radios that carry a high speed gear pouch. Um, I'm a big fan of their radio pouch itself. And then I turned a 511 flashbang pouch into a little admin pouch for me. It just carries basic little cards and notepad and everything. Uh, I'm a huge fan of STAC mag carriers. Uh, my On another vest I'll show you, I do have uh, the rifle mags and I just think that overall they're the best, especially for open top. A lot of other open tops just aren't tight enough, you lose them. Um, if you, you fight, you run, you're training, um, you usually lose a mag. I think the S-Tacks are really great. And if you do have issues with them, the little plastic inserts, they are replaceable. And the, it's just a really great design. And then I do have, I don't know if it's Fireline or Protect who makes it, but it's a, a double handcuff pouch. It just works for me. And then I am a huge fan of these Peerless Super Light handcuffs. If you're in the market for some, Handcuff Warehouse usually does a discount and free engraving. Um, I think they're the best handgun hand, handcuffs on the market. And you really can't beat the weight. And I never haven't had any durability issues, any locking up, any rusting issues, nothing like that. Uh, for I also carry trauma shears. I think everybody should carry trauma shears if you're in this kind of job or any related kind of job. Um, more often than not, I've run into times where I didn't have them one day and I need to cut someone's clothes off for some kind of shooting. I also carry this. This is a serious breaker bar. You can get them at uh, Ray Allen. It's for canine handlers. Um, you stick in their mouth, depress their tongue, they release a bite. It's for like emergency situations where a lot of people actually just like to use them to take their dog off of a bite. Uh, I just always have mine on me in case someone else needs it, something happens to me. Uh, I don't know if it's important, but Kenwood is a radio we use. It's a, not a bad radio. I, I like them. Um, I have a personal Motorola radio that I like way more. It's, uh, it's the same radio we use for SWAT, and then it's also, I just bought one um, from BSH Comms. I don't know if he's on YouTube yet, but you can reach out to him on Instagram, and he does a great deal, and he works with you and, and gets you a good radio setup. Uh, Earpiece-wise, I know a lot of people use different ones or whatever your agency gives you. I use Tactical Ear Gadgets is the, the whole... <laughs> The whole setup right here and then I use the uh, torpedo earpiece which I believe is also from tactical ear gadgets um, I really like that thing I'm it's the best fitting one for me everyone's got different ears and and all that so if you uh, if you have the opportunity I would say try out tactical ear gadgets 
Um, all of my, my name tags, everyone at work asks about them. I get everything from First Spear for that. I, I think so far they've lasted the longest of any other name tags I've had. Um, I know everyone else tries something different, but I just believe theirs is most durable and it looks the best. It doesn't fade so much, doesn't change, um, and then doesn't look like shit. Sorry. I always carry a Benchmade Sock P. That's how I pronounce it. It's a great little blade. Um, I end up using it a lot more than I think I'm going to end up using it. And it's great for personal defense or if you're on, if you're on your back or something like that. Uh, this is my, my e-collar remote holder. Currently I'm using a sport dog for my dog. It, it works the best for him. Um, he's a pretty hard dog. And then I just have another little protect pouch. Just keep a recorder in there. And then I always have your turn kit on you. I just have a Cat Gen 7 and I keep it in a Blue Force Gear uh, tourniquet now holder. It's just a little plastic piece behind it and then it has these two straps. Um, I think it works great. I use it on pretty much everything I have except for my swap vest just because of the positioning. And then back here I just keep one of these big Night Eyes carabiners with the bottom open. And I just use that so I can hook a 30 foot long line to it if we're going to go do the search. Or I can hang his muzzle on it if we're going to be going over a lot of fences. Um, a lot of guys aren't comfortable around canines. So sometimes you have to muzzle them. You're going to hand them over to them over a fence. Uh, but just a little safety thing for me. It keeps everything out of my way. I don't normally carry a dump pouch on patrol. So this is just my... It's my alternative to a dump pouch. It stays out of my way, doesn't take up any space, but that's just me. Because we talked about patrol, I'll go to my swap vest real quick. This is a, the same vest, basically. It's a Protec um, fast attack vest. This one has Safari Lamb's hardwire armor in it. It's almost paper thin. Um, I, I do like it. It doesn't flex as much uh, as regular soft armor, so you do run into issues with that. Uh, it, sometimes it's a little, little hot, but it does get the job done. These are the STAC mag carriers that I was talking about. These I use uh, just two rifle mag carriers. They are the tall ones. I just like them. I think they hold, a, hold them close to your body enough for the most. And then I just use Magpul mags with the Magpuls on them. And then I always carry scissors. All of our communications are Safari Land, so it's a TCI um, PTT. And then I hook that up to our SWAT radio, which is the Motorola XTS 5000. It's a really good radio for what it is, like I was saying. I, I have my, personal, my own personal one. I'm the guy that will try out 9,000 things until I find one and spend way too much money on it. So I use uh, SKD Piggy Gloves. I believe these are just the uh, al the Alphas or the Deltas, whichever ones. Um, they do have the Velcro closure. I do have their Quick Ones, which are the other version. I just can't recall the name. I just have these in green. I think these are great gloves. Um, they do run a little small. If if you are interested in getting some, I think they're a reasonably pr priced glove. But yeah, they, uh, they usually wear mediums or larges, depending. These are mediums, but when you put them on, they kind of fit like smalls. But you feel like they're too small. But so far, you know, they've been the, the best glove for me for everything. So... If you're interested in those, I do suggest all of them. If you don't want a Velcro closure and you want kind of a different glove meeting in the middle of the Alphas and the Deltas, I would definitely suggest the Press Check Consulting um, collab they did. If they still have them out, um, those are a great gloves. I'll do a whole video on gloves because I have way too many. And then uh, we can talk about those. Um, let's see. Over here, I carry a Gerber knife for SWAT. You never know when you're going to need a big old knife out there. Um, 
it's a good knife. It's not too expensive. I think it was like 60, 70 bucks. Um, again, right here, first spear I use for all of my, my name tags and everything. This is an IR backed one. It's only available to uh, law enforcement and military through first spear. Really good for IR cameras on like planes or helicopters if you guys are using them when you're out at night. Um, I, do, I do like those. We usually have a bunch of flex cuffs, but I do I do use a high speed gear ma um, handcuff pouch for just bare ha um, handcuffs on there. And then moving on, this is another. It's a single. It's a I believe it's a Protec single mag pouch. Um, I have a Leatherman in there. You never know when you're gonna need one of those. And then all of our guys carry widgets. I don't know how old the company is, but their product works real well. I believe it was developed by SWAT guy somewhere. Uh, I think it works great. Now back here is one of my favorite things. This is the Ferro Concepts and Forward Observation. I believe it's a collab, but Ferro Concepts. I bought mine through Forward Observations Group. It's the Roll One Med Pouch. Uh, you just put it on here, it velcros, has a little panel, velcros in there, and then you can just pull it out. Mine's kind of cinched down right now, and then you can keep everything you need in there. Uh, they sell military and civilian version, or like inserts of it, medical inserts. But I just kind of like made my own based off my knowledge base and my skills. Our team always has a medic with us, but every time a call out comes out you never know if they're gonna you know if they're available or maybe they're off doing something else so I like to have something with me and they don't go inside the house with us obviously here um, I have coyote tactical solutions tourniquet holders it's the same deal as the roll one it's just a little flap goes inside velcros down and I just carry two of them uh, there's a couple of schools of thought on it. Some military guys will tell you you need one for each limb. Uh, they're out by themselves way farther than we'll ever be. But I at least think two for myself or one for me and one for a buddy. If we're inside of a house or away from the medic, whatever it is, I just think that's my best practice. That's, that's how I've done it. Uh, but in here, like I said, we have the hardwire armor. It is super nice. And then we carry 10 by 12 um, angel armor plates. It's the same plate that I have in my other vest. It's just they're bigger. They're 10 by 12s. We have the shooter cut here, and then we have the, uh, it's like a rectangle one here. It's just it's designed for your back. So that's what we have in there. Um, I really like those things. Let's see. Over here is my personal plate carrier. Uh, this is a Cry Precision JPC 1.0. Um, I went for the 1.0 because I like that it has the built-in mag shingles. Uh, I was a huge fan of that I didn't because I didn't have to add one on. And then the JPC 2.0 has zippers on the back to add panels. I already had a plan of what I wanted to get and everything, so I did not opt for the JPC 2.0 because I did not need, in my opinion, I didn't need the zip-on panels. Um, right now, I just have HESCO L210 plates in here. Um, I believe they're like five pounds each. They're real thin, which I like, and they are rifle rated, uh, but I would suggest running some kind of soft armor backer behind them at least. I think those are, it's just going to be better to have it in conjunction with kind of style plates in there. But that's what I run right now is just the L210s. Um, I'll probably get the Cry Precision Soft Armor for it. Um, I just, other mags are mag pulls. These are my personal ones. These are Daniel Defense mags. Um, I just like those the best. There's all mag, polymer mags are pretty much the same. Uh, and, oh, just like my SWAT vest, I always run a Sharpie. And then in this one, I run a pen because I have a notepad in the back. But uh, I always run 
a Sharpie on everything because there's so many times I've needed one and I didn't have one. And then you could also need them when you put your tourniquet on, you know, write your time, write it on the person, whoever it is, or whatever the case may be. But I always have a Sharpie. Uh, let's see. Over here, before we get to the radio, I just have a little Lead Devil USA. Um, he makes really great belts. We'll go over belts another time. Um, those are the belts that I use. But a little key clip or whatever it is. And then these are the press check consulting gloves from SKD Tactical. This is the collab that they did. So you kind of get like this grippy inside, um, just like the the other pull-on gloves, except for the outside's more like the Velcro adjustment ones. These, again, these are mediums. Um, they're not the, sometimes you struggle to get them on, but once they're on, I think they're the better glove out there. But that's just me. Let's see. Calm wise, I like I said, I'm running an XTS 5000. I believe it's an, it's either an R or an S. Uh, again, it came from DSH Comms. He's a real good dude out there, just trying to educate and supply everyone. This is a holder or a Kydex radio holder from Zero Nine Holsters. I use their stuff for quite a few things as well, uh, but I believe their radio holders are the best. It just makes my life way easier. I did have one on my patrol vest, but we just got new radios, so I had to get rid of it. So I'll, get, I'll end up getting another 09 holsters one for my radio. It's just more stable and takes up less space. I use uh, Blade Tech Molly Locks um, on everything that I can. If it fits in there, I'll put it on there. It was holding my all my STAC stuff on there. I actually shoved these into the high speed gear radio pouch. It doesn't fit the greatest, but the it's just a solid it just keeps it really tight i am not a fan if your stuff pulls away from you or shakes around a lot um, whether it's on me or not i just believe it causes its own issues so i always opt for molly locks if i can get them or tech locks on your belt anything like that but that's just a lot of its personal preference some people just don't care um We'll revisit the Safari Line stuff in a second to talk about stuff pulling away from you. Um, and it goes into another Safari Line vest as well, but we'll move on right now. Uh, when I run the XTS 5000, I just have a Disco 32 PTT. It's, it's the, I run the U, it's like the U174 connector is what we have for our helmets. And then it's also what I run on a pair of Peltor Compact 5s. Um, I do not have those out here right now. The Peltor, God bless them, pretty much everything looks the same across all the years. You, you know, the headband gets gets upgraded. These kind of just look the same. They stay the same. These are Peltor Compact 2s, but they're the range version, so there's no comms, but they do have the ability to run comms. I just don't have anything in there for them. Um, these are just my range, my range ears. They're old. I like them. They work. They've never stopped working. So I do love those things. We'll go into uh, we'll go into specific comms and radio stuff in another one. But again, uh, Disco Thirty Two. They run. They make amped PTTs. I'm a huge fan of these things. Uh, they're super tactile. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're super tactile when you click them. Um, I really like that because I'm not guessing what's going on when I'm touching it. And then I just run the cord over here to the XTS. Um, let's see. Back here, that's where all the fun is. So, first of all, let's see. Uh, scissors, like I said, always trauma shears. You never know when you're going to need them. You're going to use them for some weird thing you didn't think you were going to use them for. And then I run two Cat Gen 7s. Um, I really like spreading things out if I can. I want to be able to access it with both hands. So run one on my left, one on my right, and then my scissors, I'm right-handed, so I'm just more, I tend to more to reach for my right, so I'll, I'll put it on that side. Again, Feral Concepts uh, and Forward Observations Group. I got this from, uh, from Forward Observations. It's the Roll 1. I put it on 
everything that I can just because I'm a huge fan of it. And I just think it's super effective for being so simple and it keeps it out of my way. And then one of the guys from Feral Concepts, when I was talking to him at Chacho, Show, he kind of made me laugh. He's like, it's good lumbar support too. And until you're sitting in like a Bearcat or you're just on a long drive going to an operation or something, you're, you're like, oh yeah, sure. And then he just sits there and fills up that empty space between your belt and your uh, your back or your belt and your vest. You're like, hey, that actually works. And then I run I did another carabiner and I just run tape on it. I, I always find myself in a position for needing like electrical tape or uh, clear tape. Clear tape is good for medical stuff. And then electrical tape, I'll put it on everything. And this is the Ferro Concepts, uh, I believe it's the banger pouch, back banger pouch. These are designed to uh, hold flashbangs. So if we ever go to, if I ever get to a point on SWAT where we're gonna run more than just one on per person, I might swap this over. Um, this is the, it does zip on as Ferro Concepts designed all their vests around it, but they make a, basically an adapter kit that you can molly to your vests and then it has zippers on it and then you just make the zippers to it. So I like that, it makes it easy for me. I can put it on this vest, I can move it over to my SWAT vest if I need to. Um, these things I just run little tools or whatever it is right now, extra batteries. Uh, but that's just me right now, chem lights. Some people say you can put mags in them. I tried to put a rifle mag in there. It didn't fit like the greatest, but all these uh, tops are removable. So you could fit one in there and it's probably gonna be pretty tight. And then I just like having this little pouch at the bottom for whatever. Um, right now I just have random stuff in it. I have extra carabiners, I have shock cord until I figure out what I'm doing with it. Um, we'll do a video on lights, but this is the mod light. 18650. This is their handheld version. It's one of their original ones. They I know they've changed heads now and they're they're always improving. It's a great company. I have their pistol light too. And then I also use their 18350 rifle light um, on my work rifle. But all of my heads that I buy are OKW heads. Um, OKW just has a farther throw. The other ones are like PLH and PLH V2, I think. And then their pistol light's a little different. It has, my pistol light has the newer head on it, but we can talk about those another time. But I do love this thing. And then I have a Theorem uh, THYRM little belt clip on it. I used to have the one that had the little the little ring deal on it, but I, don't, I didn't like it as much. Um, I really like this little belt clip that they make. They make it for surefires, cloud defensive, everything. Um, but this is my favorite light. I just keep it in there. Uh, moving on. Little, little off topic, but um, I do have a first spear strand pod. Uh, it's black, and now that I work at the sheriff's office, I don't use black anymore. So I never even got to wear it. I ordered it in, in temp uh, with the hopes of using it, but it just never happened. This is for, it's their medium, but it fits like 10 to 12, 10 by 12 plates. And then I believe the cummerbund is a medium, but they do their sizing a little differently now, if I remember right. Um, I just have rogue metal plates in here and I just use it to work out pretty much. Um, it really doesn't get used that often, but it was pretty expensive for what it was. It's very comfortable. They have all this like padding inside. I think overall their their shoulder pads, like plate carrier wise, are the most comfortable. And the six by twelve laser cut is super nice. But we'll talk about laser cut in the next one. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. I just don't think it's the best. It starts to pull away and turn white, tear. But, you know, some people are all about it. Um, 
but I do have it. It's a great vest, but it was just it was just too expensive for what it was. Uh, but still, nonetheless, you know, something to use, something to have around. And then we'll talk about these at the same time. So this is Safari Lands V1 Overt Advanced Webless Carrier, I believe. Um, this is from when I used to work at a PD, so it's black. This one probably only got worn like oh, this one bought. I think it's black. Uh, this one probably didn't get worn that much. Um, there's still armor in it. It's just soft armor. This is when Safari Land was still using second chance armor. It's basically the same thing as the Summit that I have in my work vest right now. But overall, I just I'm not a fan of this. Uh, they pushed it real hard. You have pockets right here on each side. I don't understand why, but the pocket this has space up there. Name tag, badge, uh, and then you have this space, and then you have this, this space. And then once it goes to your side, you lose it because of the elastic. You really don't have use of it. And then right here, well, you don't have use of your sides. And then right here, you do have this pocket. It fills up this entire space. But it's a great concept. But once you start putting things on here, you, these pockets are almost useless. Uh, you may have space right here. You can reach in. But you have a mag right here or radio. You can't go any farther because it, it stiffens this up. It gets really jacked up. Um, and then also, when you start putting weight on here, this pulls away. So when that pulls away, stuff starts pulling forward or just like sitting out and down. And I really hate that. I think it looks bad. I think it makes you, I think it shifts the weight if you're running or anything. I think it starts bouncing. Um, it's really not good. And then these, I haven't seen Safari Lands tear, but like this little, there's a little frame down here. All of these will start fraying and turning white, and then it just kind of looks bad. And people are already mad at law enforcement for, for not looking the greatest or looking too tactical. It's like, just do your best to avoid it. This one um, is, was definitely more used than, my, than this one. Uh, some of it's pulling away. Some of it's just not the best. Like, I cut my own holes in some of these to make things work. Um, Cause it's angled and then like over here like there was nothing down here so it's like I had to make a hole here to put something over here to use it um, I didn't use these inner pockets again you can't really reach inside and I have stuff pretty much all right here and then not at our office but when I was at the PD we had a body camera and it just you lose all of this space so it's super unfortunate um, but it just, it's just not the best design, and Safari Line really pushed it. It's really unfortunate. Um, up here, I had my own thing sewn on for my uh, radio mic. It is just, there was no good place to put it. Some people, like, have a radio, and they run it over here, um, and you hook it here. But I saw it fall out a couple times, so I put it here with the clip, and then I zip-tied it so it wouldn't go anywhere. But, you know, that's just me. I just, not a huge fan of these vests. Uh, I'm a smaller guy, so I already, already have less space than other people. But, nonetheless, it's, there's better things out there. And then to uh, close out today, since we were talking about armor... We will talk about my helmet. This is a Safari Land helmet. Um, it is do the the Delta Five or the Delta X. Um, I don't recall. They just got told this is what we needed. This is the best, so this is what we took. Um, again, TCI Liberators is the. 
Sorry for some technical difficulties, real quick. Just like I was saying, TCI hearing protection. I like these back mounts. It's more like the Ops Core. Um, I like it better than the standard Peltors. Um, I do have Peltors, like I said, the uh, Contact 5s that do connect like that. Um, but these TCIs are the they're the newest liberators. They're either the fives or the sixes, and they come with these nice gel cups. And then they do have different modes, and the volume settings are a lot better, I think, than on the uh, Peltors. Does have the connectorized standard U174. It's not removable like the Ops Core, um, but there's things to mitigate that, like Coffin Works makes a couple things you can attach to your hearing protection or to the arms and I ordered one of those I'll go back to it whenever that comes in and then inside you have the occipital dial from BOA you just pop it out turn it right or left to loosen it or tighten it and then inside we do have the Team Windy Epic Air system um, it's super nice it does actually work really well. I mean, you're still gonna get hot and everything, but you can still pop these out a little bit, and then it does let, and cool your ears off, but then it, and the airflow's pretty good in the whole thing. Um, your standard Wilcox shroud on it. Uh, we do run night vision. We just don't, uh, we don't run anything super heavy, so it's not a big deal. And then I run a P-Tech. I don't remember which model it is, um, but it is the red, has two settings and then if you hold it you can get the white to come on um, and then I have an Agalite it's the unit or Agalite tactical um, helmet I don't even know what it's called on it anymore it's been so long but it's just the uh, universal one there's other it's not particular to any of the helmets and I had to put some velcro here at the front I added it it was from a cry precision um, velcro pack I added that to the front to keep this down. And then I run Unity Tactical Sparks. I run a green that has the steady and the intermittent. And then I run an IR that has steady and intermittent on it. Um, every once in a while, I do put batteries back here, but um, I usually have them in a pocket or something like that, just in case. But that is about it for this. I do think Sapphire has some great helmets. So super happy with these. Um, I do want to try out an ops core in the future. If you guys have any questions about any of the stuff I've shown you, uh, let me know. Or if you've seen something that works better, you know, let me know. Also, I'm more than willing to try something new, get it, and, and try it out. Uh, just let me know. Hope you guys like the video, and thanks so much for watching.